And you didn't want to tell me what you were into either. Good reason. Look what happened. So that's back on me now. I thought we agreed that was settled. You said it was settled. That doesn't mean I have to agree to it. And when were you going to tell me? Or were you just going to keep that a secret too? You know what it was. You know what was going on, Beast. I had to get a job, and you wouldn't have it. Don't make it into something it wasn't. It's the principle of it. Don't act like you weren't keeping secrets too. If you're going to bring up ancient history, I don't have to stand here and listen to it. Fine. Go off in a hop. I'm... I'm through talking anyway. Oh. What do you want? Well? You're just going around knocking on doors? Stirring the pot? You called, right? Or, uh... Was it beauty? Why would I call you? Listen, I've had a shitty night. Do you think you're the only one? And I really don't want to deal with the runaround. Snow said you called and wanted to talk to me. Well, I didn't call. Must have been beauty. She's been surprising me a lot lately. Can I... So have you, Vigby. Yet, with all the sneaking around and secrets, somehow I'm still the bad guy in this. I've had to hear about it all night long from her. Who is it? Who's there? Beast? Who's at the door? Are you gonna let me in or what? It's your pal, Big B. Hi, Big B. Please excuse us for just a minute. Can I talk to you in private? Yes, let's. Hmm. I guess I really do have the smallest apartment in the woodlands. I can already tell you're going to make a problem out of this. What's he doing here? We don't need to bring him into this. Beast! I just don't think we can trust him. Not after the way he went behind my hmm. back. And Talk about living in the past. Again? Well, I trust him. Of course you do. He was keeping secrets for you. It was one little thing. Do you want to keep fighting about that? Or do you want to try to sort this out? All I'm saying is we can handle this on our own. You didn't have to bring him here. We're out of money. And answers. That's why I called. We'll finish this later. But we need to talk to Big B. Fine. If you want to talk, we'll talk. Sorry. It's been a long night. Yeah. You know what they say. Centuries of marriage come with centuries of baggage. I gotta say, your place? It looks, uh... expensive. What do you mean by that? Beast! No, really, I wanna know. What are you trying to say, huh? Did you come to give us decorating tips? Nothing. It's a nice place you got here. Thanks, but that's really not why I called. Is this something about that loan you took out? From the crooked man? I didn't know what else to do, so... We should deal with this on our own. Bigby's just going to complicate I things. I called him here, and I want to see if he can help us out. Why are you being like this? I'm just trying to do what's best for us. That's all I ever do. I'd like to help you, but I can't do anything if you don't tell me what's going on. I gotta know one thing first. What if we did have something to say about the Crooked Man? What if we talk, and you don't get him? And all this comes back on us? We'd be risking a lot. We've seen what happens when you cross the Crooked Man. And I don't know if it's worth it. If you can't give us certain assurances. We're just looking for a little peace of mind in this. I can protect you, but only if you tell me what I need to know. And that means details. No more stonewalling. We aren't. Then just tell me what's going on here. Look, we're used to a certain kind of lifestyle, okay? We couldn't just give that we up. We never meant for it to get like this. It's just that we had nowhere else to turn, and we got in over our heads. There's not a lot of work out there. Who would we be if we just lived like...
Um, let me just, uh... A day at the beach? Skiing the slopes? <laughs> and we can't come to the phone right now. Can we finish now, this conversation so first? The I should we'll get, get back that. To you come on. As soon as... <laughs> Humanly possible. care about is how can I find the crooked man who do I talk to where do I go the lucky pawn that's where I borrowed the money the crooked man's behind that place I'd overheard people talking to Jersey about loans before so when I needed money that's where I went I didn't know what to do. You could have told me. You had enough on your plate. Wait, who do you deal with? Jersey. You know, the Jersey Devil. Oh yeah, that slimy prick. I didn't realize he was back on this side of the river. And those Tweedles were always going in and out. Probably dropping off a loan payment they squeezed out of some poor fable. But never the Crooked Man. Mainly it's just regular fables. I can see now that it was a mistake, but I'm not the only one who goes there, you know. I saw the woodsman's axe there just the other day. It was in a display case. I guess he's hit hard times, too. There's a lot of that going around. I can't imagine he has a lot of marketable skills. Sometimes, fables just don't have anywhere else to go. Fucking Bloody Mary must go through there. She had Woody's axe last night, trying to chop my damn head off with it. Maybe if you go there, you can sort some things out. I guess I'll go check out the Lucky Pawn. If I can't track down the Crooked Man there, maybe I can make enough noise that the Crooked Man will come find me. Hold on, Bigby. Don't go there. Sounds like you're just going to get Beauty in trouble. And... You know that butcher shop, the cut above? It's the place on Tubman Street. Same block as the baker and the candlestick maker. Well, I've been delivering packages from there for a while. The thing is, it's for the crooked man. And I don't think it's meat in the packages. You, you gotta understand, I need it work. You have to believe us. We didn't think it would get like this. Well, what are you delivering? What's going on there? How does this fit into the Crooked Man's operation? I couldn't tell you, but I do know this. It's the only meat market in town that doesn't carry filet. I'm not sure how much actual butchery goes on there. How did you get involved with this? Johan the Butcher called. He had a problem with the refrigeration unit one night. But when I finished, it was your pal Mary who showed up to pay me. She said I was reliable. She liked that. It's the only thing I've been able to pick up, and it's still not enough. I don't want Beauty to have to work, especially not where she was. It's up to me to take care of her. It's Mary you deal with? Bloody Mary is there? No, Johan is the one who hands over the packages, you know, day to day. But I've seen her around there. She uh, gets under my skin, you know? I, I try to avoid her. But I don't need to tell you what she's You're like. You're damn right you don't. I don't need a rundown on her reputation. If Mary works out of there, I need to look into it. I just wanted to provide for beauty. Give her the kind of life she deserves. We shouldn't have to live like this. Scraping to get by. None of us should. We were royalty once. We were accustomed to a certain lifestyle. All we want is to make this place feel a little bit like home. You wouldn't understand, Bigby. I don't need to understand. It's not my fucking job to understand. My job is to keep Fable Town safe. 
So, where are you going? If this all goes sideways, I'd like to know where it's coming from. You know that butcher shop, the cut above? The thing is, I don't think it's meat in the packages. I want to know what the crooked man is hiding at that butcher shop. You know, Bigby, once you show up there, word is gonna spread. There may be nothing left for you to see if you go to the Lucky Pawn after. Well, I guess I'll find out. Wait. I don't know what you're planning to do when you find the Crooked Man, but is there any way you could help us out? What do you mean? Well, maybe you can make this all just go away. We would really appreciate it. What do you say? Can you help us out? You're asking me to kill him, aren't you? Is that what you think I do? No! Of course not. I don't know how you'd get that idea. We just, we know that the Crooked Man is dangerous to all of Fable Town. I'm gonna do my job. Lucky for you, that might just solve your problems anyway. Oh, thank you, Bigby. I'm sure you'll do the right thing. Very appetizing. Frozen solid. Who'd want to eat this? I don't see these cuts anywhere in here. Bigby Wolf? <clears throat> well, welcome, Sheriff. Uh, what can I get for you? You interested in a particular cut? <clears throat> <coughs> um, let's see. What do we have in stock? Let's, uh, let's see what we got here. Flank steak on special. New York Strip. Oh, I can have some wild boar in tomorrow, if you like. Uh, sirloin, ribs, roast, tongue. Got some tongue here. Johan, I want to know exactly what's going on here. We sell meat. Did you want to buy something? <laughs> what you see is what you get. Just meat. You don't find anything else. We just, uh... We do more wholesale and meatpacking than walk-up service. I'd like to help you. Really, I would. But there's uh, nothing here. So you don't mind if I take a look around? I guess not. I... Sheriff, I... Did you hear that? What? Oh, I'm real sorry. Hold on. I, I just gotta go check on that. No, don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. Butcher? I just have to go see. Shit. I got it covered back here, Sheriff. I'll be right out. Can you 
come back tomorrow, maybe. What's the problem? I'm just coming back to give you a hand. I'm sorry, Sheriff, but you're not supposed to be back here for uh, safety purposes. Come on, damn it. I'm just doing my job, Johan. What the fuck are you doing? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. They're gonna kill me. Oh god, she is gonna fucking kill me. He's gonna get me killed. Things I do. Huh? How you doing? Please, please, Big me. Please don't. Big B? What happened to Sheriff? Please don't kill me, Sheriff. I don't wanna die. Please. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. If you don't talk, I might have to do just that. Is that what you want, Johan? No, no, please. You don't have to do that. I'm dead. Either way, they said to me, Johan, you can keep your life and lose your shop or lose both. What would you do? It, it was a simple choice to make in the moment. Easy even when they got down a hook in the deep freeze. But it's a hard one to live with. They? Do you mean Mary? Bloody Mary? This isn't my shop anymore. That crew took it from me a long time ago. Crew? Fuck. The Crooked Men's people. Jersey Devil, D and Dumb, and that mental case Bloody Mary. Y you want to talk about the real butcher? <laughs> it's her, not me. This is her place. I'm telling you, they muscled in on me. Took over my storage and delivery a long time ago. All cause of that heat wave. That summer was even hotter than this one. Oh, I'd let Mary and those porkers stay cool in the meat locker one day, playing cards, having a great time. I guess they were sizing the place up. Shows what I get for being nice. I'm just a victim in this. I don't know what they do back there. I swear. A and I don't want to know. I'm not allowed to know. Well, we're about to see what's back there. And then we'll see if I believe you. I knew this would happen. Didn't know when, but there would be the day. Big B Wolf would walk through my door, and I'd catch hell for their shit. All that for a shop I can't even run right. Dragging meats in through the front, that is when I even get fresh meat. Really? I don't even know what's back there. Could be anything. Is this place? I told you, Big P. I don't know. They muscled me out. I swear, I don't know anything more. I haven't been back here when it was like this. Warning lights. This business. It's all I've ever had. I guess that's why I stuck around when they took it. Damn it. You can't act like you're forced into this and then turn around and help them. Still be here if you hadn't flipped that switch out there. I had to. Huh. You come in here making trouble for me. But you only give a shit now because the crooked man stepped on your toes or something. Where were you when they took this place from me? It hasn't been easy for me. You, you think I want to live with this at my back? I needed help. I needed your help. You're not off the fucking hook yet, Butcher. If I find something, if I so much as smell something that makes me think you're lying,
This is what Beast was delivering. Glamours, other kinds of magic. Could be dangerous stuff. What are they making here? I'm just a butcher. You want to talk T-bones? <laughs> that I can do. This stuff is out of my league. There are a lot of nasty spells you can make with the right equipment. getting chained up here. You can't think I'm the only one the crooked man has under his yoke. Maybe just don't touch anything back here, please? These are raw materials for making magic. Anti-Greenleaf and any other rogue witches out there probably get their supplies here. you see what's going on here? With all these raw materials, it looks like he could process them into just about any kind of magic. He's got all he needs. The gear. And slave labor to work it. So these must be the orders. got his hooks into everybody, and it's pretty clear how. Oh yeah? How? Doing it like this. It's bound to be cheaper than the 13th floor. This is just horrible. The things that must have gone on here. It's the putting in pie girls with the ribbons. Whoever he's got in here in these chains, he's... he's enslaving fables. On my watch, people just don't know the real cost of getting something cheap. You don't have to tell me. That fucker Crane knew all about it! Yeah, what about Crane? If this all... I mean, if finding the crooked man is so fucking important, why don't you ask your boss? Snow. No, Crane. He said he knows where everybody is. I don't know how, but he's got some way. That's right. It was that creepy magic mirror with the big green head and all. Why don't you just use that? Find the crooked man that way. And leave me alone. Yeah, with stuff like that mirror, I'm surprised that you ever need to leave the office. Can't you just vaporize anyone who gives you trouble? Do it right from your living room. Smoking cigarettes with your feet up. Crane shattered the mirror and made off with one of the pieces. He probably still has the shard with him. Well, if they got their hands on an important magical item, there's only one place they'd take it. The Lucky Pawn. They probably took Crane there, too. The Lucky Pawn. But if I can find the mirror piece there, I can find the Crooked Man. Hey, hold on! Well, I'm real happy you found what you're looking for, Bigby. What about me? Huh? Do you really think this is gonna be all right? Of all this stuff in here, I do know one thing. That's his icon. His symbol. What kind of a guy uses a torture device as his icon? <laughs> the kind of guy who isn't gonna be understanding about Big B Wolf showing himself in. So tell me this. What the hell am I supposed to do now? I'm gonna have to spend the rest of my short life looking over my shoulder for Bloody Mary. They won't care that I held up my end. There's no way to get out of this. Report to the business office. Tell Snow I sent you there, and we'll, uh... We'll figure something out. Some kind of protection. Thank you. Thank you, Sheriff. 